let's see this circuit okay so here near to the power jack as you can see this is the power jack so let's track the signals here in the circuit we have here the power jack we have here two mosfets and here we have a coil if you focus here for example we have here this this mosfet is connected to this mosfet as you can see why because here we have the same color here we have drain and also here we have drain so this four pins is connected also to these four pins we can check using the multimeter so let's put the multimeter to the buzzer option as you can see here and then press the power button all these pins are connected together let's check as you can see all pins are connected together as you can see and also these four pins are connected to these other pins as you can see here okay here we have the green color goes directly to this resistance as you see this 15 m resistance and also here we have coil means this means that this mosfet is connected to this resistance because we have here same color okay as you can see all this so let's check using the multimeter if we put one probe here okay and check here as you can see also the coil okay so after that the signal or the 19 volt will pass through this resistance and go where as you can see we have this green color here no it will go to this capacitor this capacitor is connected to this resistance because as you see we have the the same path here the green color and also will go here as you can see and to this transistor and to this diode okay without using the schematic i can now that this diode is connected to this why because we have this path or bus as you see the same path so let's check also using the multimeter so let's put one problem here and put the other here for example in this resist transistor as you can see do you see also here do you see also this diode is connected to this resistor and of course because this this resistor this is a current sense resistor it is like a fuse we can if we put the probe here in this diode as you can see here in this diode okay and go as you see connected to this and connected also to this coil and of course to the MOSFET as you can see okay why because here we have the same path okay and also here if you focus here we have this MOSFET also we have source here this three also this three pins connected to this diode here we have the same path and connected to this transistor and of course connected to this as you can see so let's check also this this is the source of this MOSFET the same path so it will be connected to this to this transistor and if we go here as you can see connected to this also will be connected to this capacitor you know why because we have here the same path okay so let's see the circuit for example here we have the GMCH circuit why because here we have the processor near to the processor we have the GMCH as you can see so this is the GMCH power management here we have coils and we have of course some MOSFETs so if you focus here for example as you can see here we have these two MOSFETs are connected together as you can see because we have here the same color the same path so here we have point means this is source these three are source if we check this three as you see let's check the continuity first these three are connected together as you can see so let's check it okay and this also okay this is the gate of course do you see the gate the gate is not connected with the source here we have a green color here we have another color here we have the same color green color so means these three are connected we have your source we have here drain and here we have the we have here source and gate and here we have drain 
as you see four pins connected together and to the end of this is connected to the end of this because here we have the same path as you can see we can check using the multimeter of course as you can see okay and here if you look here you will find that the source of this MOSFET if we follow this path as you can see is connected as you see this here we have this path follow this path goes to here so this coil should be connected to the source as you can see why because we have the same path here okay so here as you can see we have the clock generator near to it we have a crystal or a quartz as you can see always here we have a small buses as you can see all clock generator pins are connected to other components for example let's check for example this resistor as you can see we have here a small a tin bus so let's check this resistor is connected to this pin as you can see why because i follow this bus okay so let's check for example this resistor as you can see is connected to what to this pin here the second pin okay but for this for example here is connected as you can see here is connected to the pin number four i follow just buses without using the schematic and you can use a technique here if you want for example to test between two pins here avoid to take test here or measurement here because you can damage this you see if you do a short here you can look for the extension of this pin for example for this pin its extension is this resistor so i will put one probe here and the extension of this pin for example is this resistor i will put another here okay so always try in the ic's that contain a pins that is near to each other use the extension to take a measurement okay these two capacitors as you can see are connected together because here we have the same color as you can see and also this color also connects this coil to this capacitor as you can see okay the same color so in the other side this capacitor as you can see for example here if you focus here this capacitor in other side are connected together of course and connected as you can see goes and connected to this resistor here if we check you see connected to this resistor because we have this part and then we have this small part here Okay?